So today in this video, we're going to talk about the new section of Canva AI, which is Magic Studio, in which you can go ahead and magically design your Instagram post as well as your presentation. And you can create video slideshows for your images as well. And not only that, you can also go ahead and use Magic Write for creating prompts for you, which you can use in text to image and text to video generation. And not only that, you can also use a lot of third party apps like DALI, Imagine, Imagine and much more. So yeah, let's not waste any more time and let's explore the new Magic Studio feature of Canva AI. Alright guys, so here I am in my home page of Canva.com and you guys can see this is basically just a, a typical home page of Canva that we are used to see for about years now, right? But now over here you guys can see we have a new section which is Magic Studio and in that you now get to use like tons of features that are related to AI now in Canva.ai. Like, you know, we have DALI, Imagine, Enhancer, which is absolutely fantastic, right? You can use all those in your workspace now with the help of Canva AI Magic Studio, all right? So right off the bat, we do have some uh, starting features for your Magic Design. So first of all, we have Magic Design. So now you can go ahead and describe what you want to design and have social posts or presentation or even videos uh, like created custom for you uh, like idea with magic design like you know it's basically you can choose brand from here like co travel click on see results and it will basically create instagram posts for you like within second which is absolutely fantastic right and now if you see the next feature we have magic designs for presentations so if i can go ahead and try this for you guys try magic design so yeah it has basically opened uh the magic design for presentation sections so now uh it is providing me some suggested prompts to so design an energy and renewable source uh, presentation. So if I click on this one, so yeah, then it will provide me the template. So you can go ahead and choose between any of these templates uh, or you can choose the magic design as well if I click on see all. So yeah, we have five to six options over here. So let's just say I'm very much liking the first one. So I click on this one, apply to all seven pages. So yeah, not only that, it will provide me with the presentation, the theme, the images, and also is gonna go ahead and provide with the writing as well. Like, you know, with just one click, with just title, now your presentation is ready to go. And check out this fourth one, you know, we do have a code in that as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, then the fifth one, we have some energy ideas. Uh, then we have, you know, uh, resources and the ending slide. You can add between those slides, of course. Uh, you can customize them just the way you want. I can edit the font, I can make it bold, I can change this to like anything, uh, it's totally up to you. So yeah, uh, by just providing in a simple prompt by your title, you can now create presentation with the help of Magic Studio with Canva AI. Okay, so the next one we have is Magic Design for a video. So if I can go ahead and try this uh, quickly for a moment and show you guys what this is all about. So yeah, now what you can do, you can basically select uh, your images and you, you can create very cool slideshows like a video for your images. So let's just say if I upload um, some AI images that I created from different resources. So there are all the images that I uploaded over here and I can go ahead and select uh, the best one out of those. Okay, this one, this one, this one. These all look really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. All right, so 10 files are selected. So that is good for now. And over here, it's asking me to describe the kind of video you want. Uh, we'll use it to generate a design. So let's just say I say video to showcase best AI images of 2024. Okay, this is going to be my title. I'm going to click on generate. So yeah. It will just uh, take a few seconds to generate the video for me. Let's just wait for that. All right, so it has created a slideshow, an amazing slideshow for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and play it and you guys will be the judge. Let me know in the comments like how you like this video, okay? All right, so doesn't it look absolutely fantastic, right? So this is crazy. Like, you know, it's very, very accurate with the text. Like every image, it knows what image to put after what. And the text on that, like the information is providing on top of that. This is like perfect, right? 
Okay, so uh, the next one, we have a very cool and the most important feature, which is Magic Ride. So, you know, what's the amazing part about this Magic Ride is it basically collects real-time information from internet, unlike ChatGPT and other tools, you know, that only have uh, the information till some day. But this one, uh, you can go ahead and ask any questions with that, which is really crazy, you know. So let's just go ahead and, you know, test this out and ask some like real time information, the information that I just released. Okay. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and open a new page. Click on this uh, spar button right over, which is Canva Assistant. Click on Magic Rides. It will open a bar for me where you can go ahead and input your prompt really easily. So let's just say if I ask a question from this, like what is the new transparency mode feature in Leonardo AI? So you guys know, like, this feature was just released like, you know, a few days ago uh, and I covered it. You can totally watch it from our channel. So if I click on generate, so it is showing uh, the new transparency mode feature of Leonardo AI image generator presents a significant advancement in the realm of digital. So it, this feature allows user to generate images with transparent backgrounds directly, offering a high degree of flexibility and convenience for designers. So yeah, it is providing me uh, the accurate information. But if I go ahead and ask the same question, from chat GPT, so check it out. So I asked, what is this transparency more feature in Leonardo, Leonardo AI? So he's saying, as of my last update in January 2022, I don't have specific information. So it's not providing me the information. So chat GPT only have the information like before uh, January 2022. So, you know, uh, that is what is the most cool feature about the magic ride of Canva AI, okay? So the next thing you can get out of that is you can use Canva AI as a prompt generator for you. That is absolutely fantastic, you guys. If I go ahead and ask a question through a prompt from Canva AI, let's just say I say, write me some prompts uh, for image generation to create images from famous tools like Canva Image Generator, Mid Journey, and Leonardo. And I provide my subject that my subject is a lady posing at the top of building in some urban area. And if I click on generate, so it will go ahead and start providing me the prompts that I can go ahead and simply put uh, into like the respective AI tools and get the most out of it, okay? So here are uh, the 10 prompts with me. And with that being said, Canva AI also provides you text to image and text to video generation as well. So we can go ahead and use the same prompts uh, to create images in Canva AI as well as Leonardo and Midjourney. Okay, so let's just say if I go ahead and copy my first prompt, come to a uh, text to image generation of Canva AI. All right, I'm going to click try it out. Okay, and over here, I can go ahead and type in my prompt, which is a stylish woman standing confidently on a skyscraper rooftop overlooking a bustling cityscape at sunset. Okay. And if I click on generate image, so it will go ahead and start generating four variations for me uh, for the image. So let's just go ahead and wait for that. And similarly, we can go ahead and use the same prompt uh, to create images in Mid Journey and Leonardo as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my same prompt in Leonardo AI, click on generate. And I'm going to do the exactly same in Mid Journey as well. All right. So let's just go ahead and wait for all of these tools to finish and let's compare the output. All right, so here are the results, you guys. So if you compare like uh, three of the images, so yeah, our palm was a stylish woman standing confidently on a skyscraper rooftop overlooking a bustling cityscape at sunset. So yeah, uh, the, all the images were really good. And you guys can see clearly like Canva is competing uh, with the other very, very famous AI tools. Like obviously, uh, I must say Leonardo AI took the lead uh, for this subject, but nonetheless, uh, Canva AI also provided absolutely fantastic image, right? So let's just go ahead and try um, the magic ride a bit more. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and I change my subject uh, to roaring line in jungle cinematic. Okay? And if I click on generate, so it will basically provide me um, like few prompts uh, for roaring line in jungle. Okay, so I can go ahead and try these out again into my AI tool. So first of all, let's just go ahead and try these in Canva AI. So I'm going to provide in my prompt right over here, click on generate again. So yeah, it will start my generation on that. And I can try the same in Leonardo AI and I can do the same in mid journey as well. All right, here you go. All right, so take a look at the results, you guys. So Canva AI no doubt is competing head to head with the other famous AI tools. So yeah, uh, this is how you can go ahead and test out the new AI image generation tool 
in Canva AI and you can see the difference. Like the difference is not that much. You know, the Canva AI is really, really capable as well, right? All right, so the next uh, cool feature about Canva AI is now uh, you can go ahead and create text to videos with Canva AI as well. So let's just go ahead and try this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Try Magic Media. Okay, so this will open up the tab for me. And you guys can see right over here. So we have the option of inputting our prompt. So it's asking, describe what would you like to create? And basically it's powered by Runway, which is absolutely fantastic because you know, Runway is best in class. It generates uh, the best videos for you. So let's just go ahead and take some sample examples from uh, Canva AI itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Inspire Me. So it's basically saying abstract shapes in the style of 2D animation. Let's just go ahead and do once again. So a wide shot of a water lily floating in a pond. Okay, this looks cool. Let's just go ahead and click on generate video and see how it will turn out, okay? All right, guys, so here is our final output of a wide shot of a water lily floating in a pond. And yeah, right off the bat, you guys can see this video looks really, really good. Like check out the water floating and the reflection in that and the lily, yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic. And one more thing you can do in video generation in Canva AI is just now you can go ahead and generate prompts once again with magic, right? Like I did right over here. So I said, write me prompts to generate videos for me in Canva AI. My subject is a boy playing in the garden, okay? So it will create you uh, these prompts, uh, which you can simply go ahead and copy, come to Canva video generator and paste it just right over here. Click on generate. So it will generate uh, that video for you based on the prompts it created itself, which is absolutely fantastic. Like now, you can do things right here at Canva. Yeah, you can generate prompts and you can create images or videos out of that, like without any problem, okay? All right, so here is uh, the video, you guys. Like, take a look at this. All right, wow, this looks absolutely fantastic. Like, check out the butterflies in the background like the boy uh, sitting over here. Yeah, this looks really, really good, like to the point, right? So I'm really much liking uh, the video generation of Canva AI. Let's just go ahead and test out one more example. And yeah, again, we're gonna go ahead and go to Magic Ride and type here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that in Magic Ride and type in a prompt, like write me prompts for video generation in Canva AI. My subject is an eagle sitting on top of mountain. And if I click on generate, so yeah, uh, just like that, it will start creating the prompts for me without any problem. And I can simply go ahead and copy paste this from to a uh, video generation on Canva AI and check the results. Okay, so let's just go ahead and uh, take the second example or let's just go for the third example. I'm gonna copy this from, come to video generation, paste it right over here and click on generate again. So yeah, it will start the processing for me. Just need to wait for that. All right, so check out this video, you guys. Okay, so we do have a little bit of a deformation right over here. But other than that, uh, the serene landscape behind that looks really, really good, like to the point. Other than that, I think it's just a bit of deformation, but the video turned out really good out of Canva AI, okay? All right, next, if you go ahead and explore more of the miscellaneous features of Canva AI, so first of all, uh, we have a magic edit. So, you know, you can reimagine your images by swapping objects and changing colors with a simple text from like, you know, you can simply go ahead and paint anything that you want to reimagine, type in your prompt and it will go ahead and do that for you. Like you can change clothes uh, with this AI feature as well, which is absolutely fantastic, okay? All right, so the next one is Magic Graph. So you can now make any image editable, even the text within it, like using Magic Graph. So you can grab any image, move it anywhere you want, type in your text and you know, this will go ahead and unleash your creativity like really, really good, okay? All right, so another feature we have is Magic Expand. So you can edit past the edges with Magic Expand. You can recover like cut off details, fix awkward framing and expand your photo as well in any direction you want. You can choose the aspect ratio and you know, just expand your image like as much as you want, which is absolutely fantastic. All right, so now last uh, feature we have is now you can go ahead and experience third party apps in Canva workflow. So you guys can see we have tons of apps right over here. So you know, we have DALI support, Imagine, Enhancer, Sketch to Life, uh, like Avatars by Nero AI, Melody Mouse, Hello QART, uh, anime style and all this. So let's just go ahead and, and you know, check out a few of these cool uh, like third party apps and see how are they gonna turn out in Canva AI. So first of all, I'm gonna check out DALL-E because I'm really much excited for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and use a new design. Okay, it will be, let's just select a landscape mode for that. 
All right, so here is the interface. It has basically, you know, opened a separate tab from Info Dali. So now you can go ahead and type in your prompt right over here. So let's just go ahead and take some sample examples from here. So a scene from a movie or TV show that you love, recreated in real life. Okay, this looks really interesting. Let's just generate and see the results for that. All right, so here are uh, the results, you guys. Okay, I'm not sure about the quality of the image in that because it's saying the technology is uh, new and improving. So it will improve time to time. But if you take a look at the second image, so yeah, you guys clearly see we have lots of deformation, lots of grainy face. So it doesn't look like, you know, it's generated from Dalvi because obviously it's in a uh, improvement stage. So yeah, for now, you can go ahead and use Dalvi in Canva AI, which is really exciting. Okay. As so the next, we have the support of Imagine AI, which I'm really excited about as well. So let's just go ahead and try this out and see how it turns out, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try any example of from the prompt. So a standing rainbow arcing across the sky after refreshing the rain shower. Okay, this looks good. Let's just generate and see the results, okay? All right, wow, now this looks good. So we have a stunning rainbow arcing across the sky after a refreshing rain shower. So yeah, the Imagine AI sport works really well. Uh, let's just go ahead and take one more example and see how it turns out. So I'm gonna take one more example of a soul a snow-caped mountain ranging standing tall against a clear blue sky. Okay, let's just generate and see this one, okay? All right, so check out the results. All right, so this looks uh, good too. So we have a snow-caped mountain range standing tall against a clear blue sky. So yeah, uh, this word for Imagine AI. This is absolutely fantastic, okay? Okay, so the next, I'm really much excited about uh, the third-party app of this anime style. Uh, let's just go ahead and see how this one turns out. So you can go ahead and anime your way, anything you want. Let's just explore this and see how it turns out, okay? I'm gonna select Instagram post square mode. Okay, so this is a very intuitive, like a very simple interface for anime style. You just have to type in your prompt right over here. So let's just say I type in our prompt that a girl uh, in school uniform standing outside school in happy mode. Let's just click create and see how this one turns out, okay? All right, so this is the final image, you guys. Okay, uh, this looks fairly uh, decent for the anime style image. So in input my prompt like an anime girl in school uniform outside school. So yeah, this one is to the point. I think we have every information we need for the anime girl right over here, right? So there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of the Neo Magic Studio now in Canva AI. So we talked about all the features, everything that you can use now uh, inside of Canva AI like without any problem, right? So yeah, hope you like this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.